At first at six, a Butler County community showing its strength moving forward two days after a school there was struck by tragedy. Today was the first day back to class for students at Madison Junior Senior High School after that shooting. Police say 14 year old James Austin Hancock opened fire in the school cafeteria Monday afternoon, hitting two students and also injuring two others. All four are expected to be okay. News reporter Kelly King talked to parents today about sending their kids back to school just two days after it happened. And she is live in Madison Township with reaction tonight. Mark, Katie, it was a sea of red and white today with students sporting their school colors as they made their way back in and out of these doors behind me. And many parents we spoke with say they had no reservations about sending their kids back to school because they say the school did everything right. Madison was ready for it before anything could ever happen. Tracy Pilkington said she was just as calm as she is every other day as she dropped her daughter off at school where just two days earlier gunfire erupted in the cafeteria. And then this morning when I woke her up she immediately was nervous and uh, my stomach hurts. I don't want to go and I said you'll be fine. Her ninth grader, Kaya, still shaken by the shooting, went to class with knots in her stomach. She knew the suspected gunman. He sat with her and her friends often in the morning at breakfast time. Ninth grader Noah Lehman was also nervous and avoided the cafeteria. Walking in, it was weird. I mean, it didn't feel right. It was a familiar scene of buses and cars in the parking lot, this time with an added police presence. Madison will never be the same, but we can still be great, and that's our objective. Superintendent Curtis Philpot kept a watchful eye over the school during students' arrival and dismissal. I got a lot of hugs. I got a lot of thank yous. I got a lot of kids that uh, were glad to be back, and it seemed very normal today. As a sense of normalcy made its return, the superintendent says the school is ready to move forward. Our, our community looks out for one another, and uh, that's just one of the benefits. That's why a lot of people uh, choose to live out here and choose to educate their kids out here. We love each other. We don't want anything like this to happen, so friends are friends. Can't lose them like that. The safest school for my kid is here. A letter was sent home from the district to parents to continue those supports at home. The superintendent says he will be reviewing all of their policies and procedures and finding out what went right and what they can do differently. For now, reporting live in Madison Township, Kelly King, 2 News, working for you.